Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new uh, Amnesia mod playthrough thing. This is a full conversion of Amnesia. It's a very story driven, I'm told, mod called White Knight. Um, Marlin isn't joining me on this because she's already played it and I uh, don't want to spoil things here, so this will be a blind run full of lots of terror. Now, I have done a bit of testing on this already and I had serious problems recording it, but I seem to have got to the bottom of. Um, of what was going on. I seem to have fixed it. So while it's going to look like shit because I'm running on the lowest settings, the game should hopefully actually work and there should be some good scares and stuff going on. So uh, yeah, uh, another problem is the sound. It has constant fucking background sound all the time and while it's very good background sound, it kind of goes over my voice. So I'm going to turn that down one more notch judging from what I've uh, recorded so far. You may struggle to hear the voice acting as a result but you know, and I'll, I'll try my best to uh, to read out notes and things like that and add to the atmosphere with my amazing, amazing over-the-top voiceness thing. Okay, so anyway, let's go. New session. So yeah, while this is going to look like shit, it hopefully will be still entertaining and I'm going to be very quiet for the opening sequence type thing that's about to happen in the opening sequence type thing when it loads eventually which it will look at those amazing textures yeah like I say really low detail I've had to put it on it does look a lot better than this normally just my PC is shit or something like that so uh, let's go you can barely read that sign that's so fucking bad but I'm really sorry it had to be done. David, try not to be late. I will. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten it. Forgot what? Our anniversary. I know you didn't. Okay, see you later then. We had David, and by the way, in this game, Daniel, we had David, we had a name, it begins with a D. Hurrah. Here are the other characters. Time for you to go out, Grace. Lots of things to do. There you go. That's their names. Well done, everyone. And here is a table. And the music, I must it's say, in this game, three years. is very good. Yes, years pass quickly. Of course I do, Grace. How can I forget? Oh, romantic dinner. What the fuck is this? Why is there a nude person in this fridge? Wonderful, wonderful. So, um, is this us? Fuck me. I don't like this. I don't like this at all, guys. I've only been playing it for about 10 seconds. I didn't like it the first time I saw it about. I saw it yesterday, but still. We appear to be in a uh, mental asylum. Doesn't that make you feel good? We're mental. Just like Daniel was. Daniel was really fucking mental, and we're gonna be, uh, mentaler still, I think, in this one. Let's head towards this, uh, lovely bed, and we'll have a nice lie down, and then, uh, discuss why we hung- WHAT THE FUCK WAS THAT?! Oh, for fuck's sake, what's going on here? This is fucking Silent Hill Homecoming shit, and that- that was shit. But, wow, look at our gloriously blocky legs there. Oh, fuck me. This is not good. I do not like this at all. I do not approve of this. I am not happy about this. There's nothing much I can do but being pushed down this corridor panicking. But what the fuck? Okay, this is some serious Silent Hill shit. This is some serious Silent Hill shit. I do not strongly approve. Oh, God. This is not good. Go away, Mr. Fan. We could have been friends, but no. You had to be on the roof instead of, like, trying to chop my face off. Oh, what the fuck is going on now? 
we escaping or something? I don't know. As I woke up, I was somewhere I didn't know, yet smelled familiar. I felt like being here before, but I couldn't recall any memory of it. The worst part is, I can't recall any memory of mine. It feels like I'm in a living nightmare cliché, which is definitely not as it seemed on TV at all. Da -da -da! Da -da -da -da! There we go. Uh, there's a distinct pattern in Amnesia games and mods seems to be you waking up at some weird, bizarre angle. But I suppose if you were laying down, that's the angle I'd be at, I guess. Yeah. I don't really think about that. But then again, I don't really think. So, uh, you know. Anyway, I have done these first few sections before. So, um, let's get on with things. Nothing in here, and we'll have a read of the note. You don't remember anything, do you, David? Ha! I bet you don't. They won't let you remember. But please, David, you have to help me. For once in your life, think about me. I want you to get out of here. Nevertheless, I can't promise you that won't, you won't be seeing nightmares again. One last thing. Be careful about what or who to believe. <gasps> oh, fuck me. What? They want us to leave. The ghosts in this place want us to leave. What am I crouching? Uh, go for a wee. Do, 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 do. And uh, let's get on our way. Um, one thing I've noticed about this game is you don't like get the insanity darkness, you know, like when you can actually see the fucking, uh, you know, like the, uh, in the dark, when you get in the dark, you, your eyes normally adjust in amnesia. In this mod, they don't. Which means the dark is going to be very fucking dark. David? What the fuck is going on? Hello, person Hello, with no David. head. How are you today? Uh, where am I? Who are you? Oh, David. Have you forgotten again? I'm your doctor. Dr. Sophia. And you're in the hospital. A mental one. Do you remember now? David, you're fucking mental, I'm afraid. No. Don't worry, David. It's not unexpected to forget things in your condition. And that's why I'm here. To help you. Oh, God. I don't trust her. She hasn't got a Are head. Are you ready for our session today, David? I wouldn't trust her. Because you are a criminal patient, David. You did something bad. What? I'm not a criminal. You hung that guy naked from the roof, don't you remember? Listen, David. I'm here to help you. I am here to heal your mind. Okay, so anyway, uh, we're clearly mental. We've done something really wrong. So we go in here. We can't go in here. What the fuck is that? That looked like Clarence from uh, Penumbra. It distinctly looked like Clarence from Penumbra. I move that door off its hinges. It looked like it could. Let's read the note and avoid Clarence. Why no one lets me to live in my very own world? That's a bit confusing sentence. That are you jealous of me, or simply I am a threat to community? I can understand my family and my friends want me to heal, but why would I go back to the life full of misery? I'm afraid they will make me forget everything. I thought doctors were trying to help me. So the doctors here probably aren't too trustworthy. Looking at the state of the place, I'm not that surprised, to be honest with you. We need to go in here, I think. Oh, okay, we're now trapped in here. Okay, this is a lot better than it was. I was getting like one frame per second in here last time. Because the fucking water effects were doing something to my computer. And I have already solved this puzzle, guys. Although there are a lot more puzzles to come that I haven't solved. So, uh, be glad you're going to see me struggle. You guys like to see me struggle with puzzles, don't you? Yeah, you do. It's the highlight of your day for some of you, I swear. So if we stop all the water, I think something happens. Especially the blood one. Aww. Oh, nothing like a nice, refreshing blood shower, eh? Eh? Nah, it's amazing. Blood showers are the best. Wonderful. Let's see. Uh... Wonderful. Oh, there's a key here. I forgot about that. 
Okay, so we pick up the key. And for some reason, that magically makes a ladder come down here. Very handy. Everyone likes magical ladders. Let's head along this vent thing and find our way forward. Now, when I was playing this yesterday, I had done something very silly and fallen down there and died, when what you meant to do is this. Something like this. If I can get this to work, please. Oh, why aren't you working now? It's just working, oh yeah, I swear. Oh, please! There we go, I fell, eventually. Oh no, I can't jump on it! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Foiled at the first hurdle in this game, I'm afraid, like, constantly as well. Oh, this is kind of ridiculous. I can't actually jump over it. The roof is too low for me to jump over this fucking thing! Oh my god, I might have to reload and do this again! I can't quite believe it! I get myself in these fucking... Si this is like... This is even when I know the puzzle as well! I've done this puzzle already! And I'm still failing miserably! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so fucked! I am so completely fucked! It'd be great if I could pull this around the corner, but it's not gonna happen, is it? Right. Whoa, I'm slipping. Okay, so if I push this forward, maybe now. Maybe. Oh yeah! Look at that professional puzzle solving. I am amazing. I'm back here now. Is naked guy still in his cell? Yeah, he is. I'm not gonna hang around and uh, ask him what, what the weather's like. What the fuck was that? What's that behind? Look, there's an arm. Poor shit, is a fucking mannequin or something? Brilliant, I can't go in there. Can't go in there. Oh, can I? Well, I can go in here. Hello, lovely cockroaches eating the dead guy who I'm freaking out over. There's bloody handprints everywhere. Wonderful. He looks well. He looks amazing. Anyway, we're gonna head out here now. Come on. Come on! Fucking doors think they're so fucking amazing with their fucking doorishness. Never mind. Anyway, let's have a look over here. Oh. Morphine, lovely. Delicious morphine. Let's have a look in these drawers. Any luck here? No. I love the fact you can pull these... What the fuck? These mattresses are quite cool. I love the fact you can lift them. Oh. Boing, boing, boing. Okay, anyway, let's uh, be sensible, David. You may be a mental asylum a patient, but... You don't spin very well. When I was a kid, like in like computer class, we used to like sit in the chairs and then push them at each other and like joust. The patient continues to lose some part of his memories, occasionally especially the ones after the incidents. This is not expected unexpected at this rate. However, he still shows the capability of gaining and preserving new ones, and there is a possibility he might remember everything happened. The patient's progress should be watched closely and he should be locked up immediately if needed. Got a feeling. I don't know, was that. Is this originally made in English? Anyway, uh, it doesn't matter. Still a good. Fuck me. Can we pull the knife out? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bollocks! Okay, we have a key. <laughs> oh, yeah. I swear everyone uh, sits and watches TV. I wanna. Watch a good show. Yeah? 
It's really exciting. This one's my favourite episode ever a lot. Yeah. It's where a seagull shits on the Pope. So he's doing a speech. It's really good. Comic gold, I assure you. What's that? You want to watch Top Gear instead? Brilliant. Yeah, let's keep going. Anything else in here? Plates of really hard lump of bread. Um, this is where they all watch the uh, the wooden board thing instead. Popular popular thing for insane patients. Uh, don't want to watch TV? Well, watch the wooden board and imagine it's TV. Anyway, let's keep going. Do do do. I'm not quite sure that's going to be because the textures are so fucked on this uh, shitty PC of mine. But still. We'll go through this door here. To the next section. Huzzah. Wake up in a hospital without any memory of yourself. What to believe? Or who to believe? Am I really a criminal? A murderer? I don't believe it. Yet I can't completely deny it. I need to remember who I was. I need to remember what happened. I need to remember if... If I'm really a killer. 